Our next recipient of an appreciation award has played a major role in the sport of tennis in Bermuda. Let's take a look. Bank of Bermuda Foundation. In June 2003, our recipient became a major sponsor of the event ITF Junior Circuit Tournament. This event attracts some 80 junior tennis players representing 18 countries in the region. With the support of our recipient, this event has had a major impact in the tennis community and is a showcase event on the International Tennis Federation calendar. This tournament has been a great tool for our local players and coaches in the development of their skills. One of the most notable benefits of the sponsorship and events is that it gives local junior tennis players an opportunity to test their skills against some of the best junior players in the region. I am pleased tonight to salute the Bank of Bermuda Foundation for their sustained contribution to the sport of tennis. Accepting this evening is Claire Mello. Good evening, everybody. On behalf of the Bank of Bermuda Foundation, our chairman, David Hampshire, and the board of directors, and my fellow committee members on the Youth Development Sports Committee, it is a great pleasure um, to continue to support youth development and sport, and we are so honored and privileged to be able to serve in this capacity. Thank you. In three, two, one. Claire Mello, representing the Bank of Bermuda Foundation. Uh, the, the, the bank, the foundation, has offered charitable thousands of dollars to different organizations. I'm sure you're honored to receive this on behalf of them. Oh, absolutely, we're honored. Uh, um, like I said, it, it, it gives us, it's a great privilege and an honor to serve the community um, in this regard. And on, on behalf of my fellow uh, committee members on the Youth Development Sport Committee, it, it, it really is, um, uh, this, uh, it's a, ter a terrific honor because you know all the athletes that we support uh, do so much, uh, and all the all, all the organizations that we support do so much to develop those young athletes. So mm -hmm. this is a wonderful surprise. Sure. It must be difficult sitting around that table with so many applications, and you have to boil it down. Well, you know, I it it is it. It's a big rock in my calendar. It's something that I try never to miss because it is a wonderful opportunity. And uh, it can become uh, challenging and difficult, but we have a good uh, process in place and we have some wonderful people. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Our next presenters this evening come to us from the sport of track and field athletics. Our first presenter is an athlete who has represented Bermuda in numerous international competitions, including the Carifta Games and the Commonwealth Games, and as a member of the University of Georgia track team. Also presenting is a former world-class athlete, a four-time Olympic sprinter, and someone who is currently the technical director of the Bermuda National Athletics Association. Please welcome LaTroya Darrell and Troy Douglas. Welcome, Mr. Premier. Uh, yeah, welcome, Mr. Premier, uh, Minister, the Minister's distinguished guest, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are pleased to be here tonight to present the next Appreciation Award. Good evening. Our next recipient has single-handedly been responsible for one of the island's most popular junior cycling events. Let's take a look. Tokyo Millennium Re. For over seven years, our recipient has not only sponsored the Youth Mountain Bike Series, but has organized the event with their staff members. The staff members have done an incredible job of bringing together hundreds of primary school students to participate in a well-organized event. Sponsorship and organizational skills at this level have played a major role in developing the sport. This event also provides an opportunity of several of the top local junior cyclists to work with hundreds of school students.
Sponsoring and organizing the Tokyo Millennium Youth Mountain Bike Series, we tonight salute the Tokyo Millennium RE. Accepting this award is Miss Christina Booth. On behalf of Tokyo Millennium, thank you very much. It is a great privilege and honor to accept this award. We look forward to growing this event further and also in continuing to support the youth and athletes in Bermuda. Thank you very much. Now let's take a look at the support. We now will turn our attention to Christina Booth, uh, Tokyo Millennium. That name pops up so often. I mean, sponsoring lots of events. Congratulations and appreciation Thank award. Thank you very much. It's a great honor on behalf of the company to receive this. Um, one of the main mantras of the company is, you know, sound body, sound mind. And being able to receive a, re a reward for a youth program is fantastic for us. And just being able to support the youth um, of Bermuda and the athletes of Bermuda, and hopefully some of those future athletes, is a great reward for us in and of itself. Um, and something we, we hold dear as a corporate culture. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Support and dedication to the sport of track and field athletics from our last appreciation award recipient. KPMG. In 2004, our recipient became a major sponsor for one of the largest international events hosted in Bermuda. Their commitment to this local and international event has been nothing short of exceptional. They have not only financially sponsored the event, but their entire staff has ensured that this event take place at a very high level. The senior partner describes the company's view on this event to be one of the fundamental responsibilities of business leaders to give back to our community. For their, for their sustained contribution in the sport of track and field athletics, it is my pleasure to present this award to KPMG. Accepted on behalf of KPMG is Mr. Craig Bridgewater. Look a little different than uh, you might be expecting from Craig. <laughs> My name is Mark Lavery, and on behalf of uh, KPMG, we're just overjoyed with uh, receiving this award. This event has been uh, a highlight of not only Bermuda's calendar, as it says, but of our staff calendar. All of us are uh, have enjoyed being a part of it, and it's uh, it's become one of the one of the key elements of what we do. So, thank you. Well done. Congratulations to all of our recipients. It's my responsibility now to introduce our next presenters. They come to us from the sport of cricket. Representing St. George's is a gentleman I call friend 363 days a year. Those other two days are cup match. He's represented Bermuda at the youth and senior level of football. He is an educator. He's a health and physical education teacher at Clearwater Middle School and he is the president. And from Somerset, the 2012 Cup Match Champions, we have a member of the management team. He has served for over eight years. He is the vice president. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage from St. George's, my friend, Neil Painter and Ricardo Swan. Gentlemen. Thank you, Dr. Evans. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are honored to be here this evening to present a sports citation award. This award category is presented to those individuals, governing bodies of sport, teams, and clubs who have distinguished themselves in sport both past up to 1974 and present and 1975 to date. This recipient of a sports citation award has been involved in his sport of tennis for almost 50 years. Let's now take a look at this individual's achievements. 
Sports Citation Award. Coleridge Place. Our recipient has been involved in tennis since 1966. He trained under the guidance of the late Crowell Manders and Neville Pegg. During his competition years, he established himself as a champion in all categories, ranging from men's singles to mixed doubles. He has not only played for Bermuda, he has also served as an official Bermuda line umpire in events like Exile Capital Bermuda Open. Our recipient has also trained and prepared players to compete in world-ranked tournaments. For example, he coached the Davis Cup national team that competed in El Salvador. Every year, he hosts a birthday golf tournament that has helped raise thousands of dollars for the junior program. He served as vice president of the BLTA for four years and is now in his second year as president. For his outstanding and sustained contribution to the sport of tennis, we are proud to present this award to Mr. Coolridge Place. The Honorable Premier, Sports Minister, I'd like to thank you all for this. This is a great privilege for me. And like I said, we will be serving at the tennis stadium and working hard for our youth for the rest of the years to come. Thank you. BLTA President Coolidge Place, we spoke to you prior to the awards and said it was a chance you might receive something. The only sports citation for 2013. Congratulations. Yes, Mike, this is truly an honor for me. I mean, going back over the years, when I think of all the sacrifices I made on my birthday to raise funds for our junior tennis players, um, this is truly, truly a sweet thing. So on behalf of my family and on behalf of Bermuda, I'd just like to say thank you. This is really sweet. Yep. You see, people do pay attention. <laughs> yeah, I think you knew something. <laughs> Thanks again, but this is really wonderful. Okay. I mean, really, the odds were against me because when I go back some 42 years, Years ago, you know, I was in a hospital bed with two broken arms, paralyzed in my right arm, had to have a metal plate put in there, and the odds didn't look cool for me to be involved in tennis. Mm -hmm. So to be able to come back and compete in tennis and also compete at a top level, and now today come and get this award, this is truly a blessing. Yeah, and just for the record, I didn't know. Okay, Mike, <laughs> thank you. <laughs>